Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Well, folks, today is the day. Today is the day that Capture One finally listened to us and they took care of those few idiosyncrasies about the application that just drove us insane. Now, this is a free update to anyone that already owns Capture 120. It's called Build 13.1. Now, to check for the update, if you own Capture 120 and you have a Mac, go up to the top Capture One menu and down to Check for Updates. Now, I'm not sure where Check for Updates is on the PC version of Capture One. If you own the PC version of Capture 120, in the comment section below, please mention where it is. I believe it's under the Help menu, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, I mentioned that Past versions of Capture One just had a few quirks and idiosyncrasies about it that just drove us crazy. We're going to talk into a little detail about three of them, and I'm going to mention uh, one other thing that wasn't really a quirk. Uh, they now have available a dedicated version for Nikon users. So if you just use Nikon, you could save a lot of money by subscribing to the Perpetual License or buying the Nikon version uh, because it's considerably cheaper than Capture 120 Pro, which will work with every RAW file there is. The Capture One Nikon version only works with Nikon files. Uh, so uh, that could save you some money. Also, for years now, they've had a Fuji-only version and a Sony-only version. And, you know, these versions work just like the Pro version. It's just they will only open their respective files. The Sony will only open Sony and so on. So they have now a Nikon version, so you could check that out. Now, the three things about the application I want to talk about, I mentioned they're kind of quirky idiosyncrasies this application did that drove us nuts, but they're so simple, you wonder why it did it and why they didn't have it work the way we'd like it to work. The first thing is they added a dedicated before-after. You may remember in the past, if you wanted to get a before look at your image, you had to hold the alter option key in while long pressing on this reset arrow over here on the top left. They now have just dedicated before after. Hit the Y key on your keyboard and by default you'll get this split screen view of before after. Now you'll notice over here on the top right it has an icon before after. You also could click up there. If you long press on that you can see that there's a different type of before after, a full view. So if you want to see a full view, you could turn that mode on and then hit the Y key and do a before after like that. Uh, this is also up in the view menu at the top. You go down to before after. You can see it has the keyboard shortcut a Y and then the before after mode. We have that full view or that split view. Uh, so you have your choice of which one you prefer to use. Again, some super simple thing, but it wasn't in previous versions. Now, another thing they've taken care of is the brush. Uh, this drove me crazy, many users crazy. Let me put this brush down here between these two park benches so you could see it. In the past, if you used the left bracket key and started making the brush smaller, it would only get so small, and then it would just kind of turn into this plus sign, and it wouldn't uh, visually get any smaller on the screen, even though as you were hitting that left bracket key, you were actually making it smaller and your brush stroke would be smaller with each uh, left bracket key press you did. So your visual indicator though just ended at a spot. So now when I hit the left bracket key and I keep hitting the left bracket key, the brush gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. By now with previous versions, it would have just stopped. It would have not got this small. So now you can finally see the actual size of brush stroke you're doing with that brush overlay. Finally. So that is another thing. Now, probably the, the major new thing is the revamped clone and heel tools. Uh, let me go up to the heel tool up here. You may remember in previous versions that with the clone and or heel brush, when you sampled an area, like I want to get rid of this, let's say this little white thing that's in the water, it's a little white buoy. So if I click on that, it would sample an area and it would take the pixels from that area and use them in this case to heal that area over there. So it'd sample right here. Now let's just pretend that I wanted to get rid of these dandelions. So I click over here to get rid of the dandelion. 
Well, it only could sample one area. So it's sampling for the way over here where the grass is, it's still sampling that water area. So this was a pain in the neck because you had to put every clone and heel on a separate layer. Not everyone. Sometimes you could get away with sampling the same layer. Like these two white things in the water, I could probably get away with one layer to get rid of both of those because it's going to sample one area of the water. But when you have to sample different areas, um, different textures and things like that, you had to do it on an individual layer every single time. And it just drove you crazy. And if you were doing like skin retouching and you had a person that had a lot of blemishes, pimples, things like blackheads, and they were, you know, different areas of the face. One was near the eye, the other one, other ones were on the chin, some were on the neck. And you're only sampling the same spot. It didn't look right. So you had to have multiple, multiple layers to get rid of all that or to do all that work. Now, it does it all on one layer and you could sample multiple spots. So again, you get that, in this case, heel tool and I'll click on this little white buoy out there and it will sample an area and you could move the sample area around, but you could see it got rid of the buoy, right? Then I'll come out here and click on this one and it gets a different sample area and you can move that one around as too. And as I mentioned, let's say we wanna get rid of some dandelions. So I'll, I'll click over here on the far right. It samples an area. And you could move the samples, individual sampled areas around. So we, you could see we have four uh, samples so far, right? So I could just go around and just get rid of things. Let's say on the far left, I get rid of that one dandelion. We'll move it around. So major, major change into the way the clone and heel tools function. And again, it's one of those things like, why didn't they do this sooner? A lot of, for a lot of people, I knew this was what was keeping them from purchasing Capture One. It was because of this. So finally, they've taken care of it. You could do it all on one layer. Now, as you notice, if I come off the image, those little uh, overlays go away. If you don't want them there at all, you could just right click on the image and then display arrows. You just unclick that and then they're never there. So wherever you paint, only when you click, you'll see little red overlays up here. I could click there, see those little red overlays as I'm painting up here on that hill and, and they'll appear and then everything will go away. You may prefer that behavior. I prefer to see the arrows, so I'll keep that on. So that's it. Those are the three, <laughs> I, I'm hesitant to say major because it's really such, they're so simple, but why didn't it do, do it sooner? I don't know, but that, Clone and heal basically um, will help a lot of people and I think will really make a lot of people's uh, processing workflow go a lot faster. Uh, so that's a thankful uh, change or addition to the application. Now, again, this is a free update uh, to anyone that already owns Capture One 20. It's called Build 13.1. So that's the build you're going to look for. Um, in the description below the video, I'll have a link. Uh, to their website. They have some deals going on too, I think. Um, so you could check them out. They have a 30-day fully working free trial. So if you don't already own Capture One, uh, download the free trial. That's what I did several years ago. I, I downloaded the free trial, used it for 30 days uh, to learn how to use it and to see if it was something I'd actually use. So check that out. Uh, thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.